Hello and welcome along. Today we are taking a first look at the interior by Serious Mods. This is something a little bit special, I think. Uh, this is a purely forestry map. This is the first first one that I've come across in uh, FS17 that just just in, from the initial look, I'm kind of going, I like the look of this. Um, there are have been other ones which have been uh, had heavy forestry, but this is this is this is the first one that I think is pure forestry. And if we look at the uh, overall map, you can see. Let's get this against something that's a little bit more visible. Uh, you can see that there it really is a pure forestry map. Uh, actually, let's have a look in here. Let's just show it better. Uh, yeah, it's wonderful big river down the middle and then lots of stuff around it so we're going to go and have a look around and see what we can find and then we will have a look at the vehicles having just looked at that it looks like this might be a map one of those maps that you start with no vehicles uh which on a forestry map actually isn't as bad as it sounds so we're going to take the uh, defender here and we're going to have a drive around and have a look so, without further ado, let's get to it. Uh, this is where you start. Uh, as always, I have started in the point uh, where you begin. Uh, it's quite a good yard, this. Uh, plenty of storage space uh, on a couple of levels. We will have a quick drive around this because I think, looking at the map, we will probably not make it back here. Uh, so, yeah, lots of places to put timber. Uh, there's no sales points here. So, this purely is your main timber yard right at the bottom of the map uh, and plenty of space to do stuff uh, a little bit of space really actually if you wanted to have some of the factory mods or something in here you might be able to do some of that around here uh, but that'd be quite that'd be quite cool i think on here uh, so uh, let's head out of the yard we will check what type of gates these are i think these are yep yeah, our normal click to exit gates and straight out to... Uh, oh, I love that. So that's lots of wood floating. I think this, by the looks of it, this is not an English map. Uh, this is an American map, but of course our Landy is driving on the wrong side. Oh, it's pulling to the side a bit tonight, so I uh, may have messed up when I started the map. But yeah, looking quite good. Now, do we have... So we do have sort of little paths off like this. So this one doesn't go very far. So I'm just going to run up it quickly. And that sort of just takes us into the area. And one of the things... Uh, anybody who's seen several of these videos knows. One of the things I love is detail in forestry areas. On a forestry map, that is even more important. Uh... I love the ground. The ground is set up right. There's, there's, it is proper forestry ground, which quite often happens on a map. Uh, doesn't, you know, doesn't get set up properly. Uh, so I'm liking that. I'm. This is a lovely looking map. It really is. Right. So, yeah, plenty of area around here for various bits and pieces. Uh, all of the woodland does seem to be on a slope, so it's going to be a, a quite a challenging forestry map as well, by the looks of things. Again, this is a dead end, this one. But I just want to pop up here. It's not a huge map, so we have time to explore these, these sort of little cul-de-sacs into the mountains. But I'm loving the tree density. The tree density is really nice. And, uh, and yeah, there does seem to be a decent level of challenge to doing forestry in these hills. Really, really loving this. I've not I've not seen a forestry map on this kind of level for FS17 yet. Really haven't. Right, so this one, if we look at the map, this heads off up into here. So we are going to head up onto Sawtooth Mountain and hopefully come out at the top end of Crow Lake. I like the names. The names are very American. Um, 
So I, I'm quite loving that. I think we'd have, have to have some sort of pickup truck. And maybe a big Ford or something on this map. Right, head up here. So this, uh, this, so there's a good question with this. This is a nice, very decent, very cool. Oh wow, concrete road, um, forestry map. So the question becomes: Would people like to see a return to forestry on Friday? Uh, certainly, this map would be a very good map to do that on. So let us know in the comments: Would you like to see uh, a weekly forestry episode? Uh, Probably based on this map. If I go down there, that is a dead end. But it's good, good to see stuff off, off the side there. I'm really, I'm really liking this map. Wow. And here we have a hillside. Now this isn't a cell point. This is another yard. Well, it's not marked as a cell point. But those are certainly places to... Because that is... So does that have a collision for selling? No, it doesn't. So this... Yeah, this is all for show. None of this is actually functioning. Which is interesting. There's a little bit of a pity. I would like to have seen that be the case. Looks like that is... Uh, almost a pallet works or something like that. Yeah, this is... This could very easily be functioning. So there are mods out there that you could possibly replace this part of the map with. That would do all that kind of stuff. Uh, oh, let's turn that off. Uh, yeah, it's... It looks like... It's functioning. And it is a pallet works, this. No, it does. Oh, wow. That's awesome. So, it's not marked on the map as such. But this is a pallet works. And it's a functioning one as well. That's, that's fantastic. So, there's extra functionality in this map. Built in. If I can find... Yeah, there's... there's um, oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. So it's not just standard wood. It's uh, pallets and, and other wood products uh, can be constructed, uh, can be done on this map. That's that's really fantastic. That's taken this map up a not another notch for me. And that explains the road that's that's up here as well. So we're going to climb further onto the mountain, onto Sword Tooth Mountain. It looks like there would be a lot of forestry stuff to do on here. Now, that's interesting. Is that ours? That is ours. So there is a lizard pickup rodeo on here. I did not see that listed on the, the screen. I must have had a lot of vehicles. I know what it is. I've got vehicles turned off. Yeah. Ah, so we do have some stuff. Uh, and not that much, though. Looks like it's just the pickup truck. So that's further up the mountain. Let's head around this way. So, yeah, looks like you only start off with the, uh, the pickup. So that is going to be a very short vehicle review. Uh, I do like that because one of the beauties of, uh, of forestry is you can just start with a pickup truck and a chainsaw. And, of course, you'll make money and you'll build up from there. We would probably start this with a little bit more than that. Uh, but still looking to build up a bit. Wow, this is... I really love this. I, I'm not sure what's up there, up that way. I think it's... Yeah, you can... Uh, it's another dead end. But there's lots of, of windy tracks. And uh, you'd have to be careful because your wood, your your... Uh, your logs will roll very easily on this map. So that will be a nice challenge. Yeah, I would very... I'm... This map actually excites me. Really does. And it, lo it looks fantastic. 
But to know that there's other stuff to do on it with the pallets and things like that, which which then, you know, I, I look everywhere and I go, well, what's, what's next? What am I going to find next on this map? We have just driven past a cell point. What was the cell point we've just driven past? Although that may be an error on the map. I think that's an error on the map. Because, yeah. Bolter. Okay. I can't see where that is. Unless... Oh, hang on. Ah, okay. I think if I go way around this corner... I'm about to discover what that is. But yeah, we have a cell point here. I don't think I've missed it. I think... No, you can't. What is that? Okay, so we're going to... Oh, use our landy for what our landy's great for. Climb up here and see if there is actually something up here. There's a cell point. There's something up there. There's definitely something up the top here. Ah, uh, it's some deer. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, whatever it is, uh, it's deer, but it's not a cell point. Although, what I am going to do is just one of those things where that you a screenshot opportunity comes along and you just want to grab it. Right, so let's head down. So, yeah, there seems to be an error here where the cell point is here, but um, doesn't seem to be a cell point itself. So, I'm not sure what that is or where that is. I'm sure we will probably... That could be uh, the area that we've just been to uh, that's not marked on the map. So, I need to, I need to have a look at that. Uh, this is based on a map called the Alps that was out for FS15. Uh, that has then been altered. So it's possible that the actual icons haven't been altered on the map. Which has happened to me on a couple of maps before. So that that would be one thing uh, down for it. But that shouldn't be too difficult uh, an alteration. And too difficult to fix. So we'll keep an eye on that. Oh, there we go. So down the mountain. It's nice and windy. It's, it is... I do like how mountainous this is as well. I think this is, I think this is going to be, it be a massively challenging forestry map. Although, looking at this... Oh, that's interesting. There's an unmarked road up here. There's a nice flattish area here. This would be a pretty good area to work with. But this is this is fairly flat and not on the map as well. Oh, wow. That is fertilizable grass. Interestingly enough, that's a field. So this is an area where you could plant trees very easily and, and harvest them as well. Yeah, that is that is an area that is, is very workable. I like that. So that's... And you could put factory stuff up here as well. So that's a very nice, usable flat area. It's not marked on the map, interestingly enough. Yeah, it looks actually... I'm not sure I'm not sure actually that is fertilizable land. I'd have to check that out a bit more. And it seems we do have a few crops around here, actually, because we do have some... Oh, wow, we have, uh, we have a field of poplars, is what that is. So that's quite cool. So they have catered on this for uh, doing poplars on it as well. So it is the this absolutely is the full forestry experience uh, in farm sim. I love that. I love that that is that is something available on this. That's really cool. Yeah, 
So we have a we have some fieldy areas around here that we can do poplars and stuff like that. Looks like we don't have any sail points, or that we know of yet, for uh, for crops in general. And on what is pretty much a pure forestry map, I wouldn't expect us to. Uh, now, do we have? We do have an unmarked bridge on the map. So we're going to go and cross that. I don't think we have any cell points or anything. Well, we have no cell points or anything marked on the map down there. Uh, and I think that's where the other bridge comes across. Is further down there. So we're going to go across here and have a look at the facilities over this side. So this looks like the town. Oh, there is There is a really nice level of detail on this map. I think I think the mini map might need a little bit of work as we've just discovered. So what do we have in here? Now this looks like our shop. Oh. One thing I can answer is I'm using my mouse wheel and I don't have uh, I'm not having a chainsaw come up, so you don't start this with the chainsaw. So it looks like you just start with a truck. Uh, so this would appear to be our workshopping. Yeah, this this is our yeah purchase and workshop area and things like that. Uh, a Sammy, a Deutzfar. I think this is the one off um, Old Streams. By the looks of things, I don't know where else that that has previously been used, but that certainly looks yeah. That's the that's the one that is used on the Old Streams map. And if we go round this way a little bit. So that is the road out of here, which I don't think actually allows us to go anywhere. Ooh, a fallen over sign. Did I hit? I don't think I hit that. Yeah, the mini map does seem to be a tad out of date. I think is is how I would describe it. Uh, is the only downfall I really see on this map so far. Uh, I'm liking the town. The town is looking very nice to me. What have we got over here? That looks like animals. We don't have any though. Yeah, it's there's not available to. And if we look at the collisions, there's no. Yeah, there's no purchase point or sales point. But that's quite interesting. They do actually have an animal market on this map. Uh, even if it's non-functional. That's really... That is massively interesting. I'm just going to cut across the grass. Just to save us a bit of time. Uh, so we've got our shop. And then we will head back this way. Does look, from the lorries and everything, very American, this map. Now, uh, in here, would appear to be an industrial area. Our oh, small error in the, the the beacon on the gate is normally meant to flash. So there is that. Uh, this looks like another pallet factory. What is this making? Uh, pallets, boards. Okay. So yeah, we have a lot of uh, of extra functionality here. I I'd, I think Yeah, I'm not quite sure. This, <coughs> there's a lot of functionality on here that that looks Yeah, there's a pallet cell point by the looks of things. There is a lot of functionality on here that would be would make it more than just a st much more than just standard forestry on this. Ah, here is the actual lumber yard itself, I think. Now, no, it isn't mouse controlled in the vehicle. It is. You do have to get out and open the gates. Yeah, this appears to be the lumber yard. Uh. Not sure where the actual cell point is. Looking at it, I would guess I would guess it's that ramp there, actually. 
Uh, and then I would guess there's also uh, no, there's nowhere to back down into there. But it certainly seems like that would make sense for a cell point. But yeah, this here, this here must be the cell point. Let's just bring up the collisions. Or not. Oh no, there is. There it is. Yeah, this is the cell point for logs. So I think you'd work your way up. Uh, quite easily on this. Get yourself a small forestry tractor and and then work up to the next stage and work up to the next. Really, a really interesting way to do that as well, I think. Here we have some more stuff. Ah, and this then answers our question. This is a Canadian map. Because we have the Canadian flag flying. So there we go. So this is based in Canada. Uh, plank sails by the looks of things. Wow. Yeah, lots of different woodwork stuff to do on this map. Yeah, this is plank sails. I, I'm, I am absolutely loving this map. Right, let's pop up here. Uh, we don't have a road, but we do have, well, a dirt road anyway. I'm not sure quite where I would start on this map. It's my only thing. Uh, there are lots of places where it seems to be more useful to start. Oh, that's awesome. So area for you to put your own factory stuff in as well. Love that. Let's keep climbing this hill. Wow. I think I think I will probably uh <laughs> oh, the, this the forestry on this is just fantastic. I love it. I really do. This is I would love to have had a map like this in uh, 15 as well. And it's just... We're right up the top of Timber Creek Ridge. And it's... And we go back down again as well. But that is just... Some fantastic... So I'm, I'm kind of wondering what I'm going to find at the bottom of here. Because it seems to go to a dead end, but you kind of go, well, if you're traveling all this way down here, what is at the bottom? And it really is, yeah, it really is an area to do forestry. But it's a good area. I Actually, this is a really good place to do it. The rolling will be minimal here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So we come back out. Um... I've moved, moved, yeah, come back out from there. I uh, decided not to uh, to show the drive back. I think it's, it's basically the same thing. Back. Oh, rickety uh, wooden bridge across there. Which is pretty wicked. And this is, this is the main road back to where we... Uh, to where we started off. So how, then... My question is, do you get to that road on the other side? There must be another bridge across somewhere. That's really interesting. There's a whole road and everything on that other side that I can't see how you get to. Ah, unless... Right, I think, looking at this... There's a turn right at the end of the lake. There we go. So we'll go and have a look at this last little bit. Oh, big hole there. So yeah, it's lots of uh, slightly narrow roads. 
but all it's all really cool. It's all really nice. I think this would be a massively fun map to do. Fun map to do a whole load of forestry on. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go the whole way up here and leave a little bit of uh, a mystery. But it's yeah. So that is basic overview of the map. That is a re really awesome, really awesome forestry map. Uh, there seems to be an awful lot to do on it as well. M beyond just the standard in-game forestry, there seems to be a whole load of extra stuff. Uh, the minimap seems to have uh, a few errors on it. Uh, and I think it would either need... Uh, well, you'd, you'd need to explore and work out what bits go where on to, to how you um, use the various bits of... Option, or the various options and things that are on the map. But it's, yeah, it's really great. Really great forestry map, this. And well worth exploring. I think. Uh, for now, though, uh, we're going to go and have a quick look at what vehicles we have and what we start with. As I said, I don't think this is going to be very long, this list. Uh, and uh, as you can see, it really isn't. You start with the pickup rodeo and £20,000. Um, or if you want to play it uh, in uh, well, dollars, uh, you can do. Uh, but yeah, so you start with the pickup rodeo and you work your way up. Ah, uh, that's pretty cool. Ah, uh, I really, really love this map. Uh, that's that's awesome. I was not expecting this to be as good as it is. Uh, I I loaded it up and and saw a, a great forestry area and and having driven around it, I'm going, wow, this is fantastic. Uh, the map is available from Mod Hoster. I will put a link in the description. Uh, it is by Serious Mods, and it's called The Interior. Uh, well worth it if you are a fan of forestry and farm sim. Uh, but all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time. Goodbye.